how's that how's that right there are we good are we good i think we're good i think we're good i wanted to go ahead and do a quick little outfit of the day before we headed out i'm super excited about today's vlog it is all about organization if you follow me on instagram you know that we are completely redoing our pantry we tore down the entire old pantry putting in a new one and it's gonna be so so cute i wanted it to be a really nice beautiful space so we're gonna go shopping for some organizational items before we do that i did want to share a few things with you including my outfit of the day this portion of the vlog is in sponsorship with vera shop if you're not familiar with vera shop i'll make sure to put links down below for everything that i'm wearing and share with you guys in today's video i believe they're having a promo right now i think it is 25 percent off fashion and 15 percent off of beauty and home if you're starting to knock out that christmas list for all your friends and families make sure to check out vera shop they do free returns and exchanges and they also have free shipping on all orders over 35 bucks but let me go ahead and go over what i'm wearing and share a few other pieces with you i wanted to go ahead and share this little necklace combo first these two necklaces i am kind of obsessed with they would make such a beautiful beautiful gift this one is a little snake and then you've got this chain link choker and i think they look so so good together for the rest of the outfit i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so i can show you the, these tees are seriously so so good okay so first up i wanted to share this tee i ended up grabbing it in two different colors because i just had a feeling it was gonna be so good i love the length of the sleeve the v hits at the perfect spot it's not too low it's not too high it's really really flattering and the length of it is really nice so if you want something a little longer to wear with leggings you've got the little v here or you want to do that easy front tuck which you guys know is just kind of my thing Th these tees are so good like i said i did get it in black as well i'll pop on a little picture of me wearing it in black next up i wanted to share these boots with you guys i ended up getting true to size in these i think they are so so cute they did come in other colors but i thought the leopard was so much fun especially since i wear a lot of neutrals i definitely recommend going true to size especially if you're not going to wear socks so i'm not wearing socks with them because it comes down really really low on both sides of the foot but i love these booties i also ended up ordering this argyle sweater it just screams christmas for me i thought this was the perfect christmas holiday sweater it's so cute i love the print you've got these like oversized buttons and it's just oversized just in general i just think it's so so cute i also grabbed this tee in two different colors i grabbed it in this gray and i also grabbed it in white it's got the little faux pocket here you've got a scoop neck short sleeves and it is on the longer side as well i'll put all sizing information down below i always prefer a little a little front tuck though but y'all know i'm all about the basics and these basics are so so good this one is on the thinner side so it's almost like a burnout tee but i love a good burnout tee these are good for layering underneath cardigans and the last thing from vera shop that i wanted to share with you are these joggers y'all know that i am jogger obsessed but i will say these might possibly be the softest joggers i have ever put on they are so comfortable you've got this like wide stretchy waistband here with the tie waist you've got pockets you've got the um a gathered ankle here they are so soft i wish you could actually feel how soft this material is i'm pretty sure these came in different colors even if they don't this print is seriously so good. I would totally style this up and wear this as a cute little outfit, but then again, they're also perfect for lounging around the house. Are those seriously not some of the cutest pieces? I am obsessed with the basic tees. You know how I feel about my basic tees. They are a must in everybody's closet, and I really, really, really like these. Make sure to check out all the links down below. I'll link everything that I shared with you guys, and if you're doing a little holiday shopping, check out Vera Shop. They have some amazing sales now through the entire holiday season, and they have a little bit of everything. So whether you're shopping for yourself, you're shopping for a gift, you're shopping for your hubby, it's all there, everything from high end. And like I said, they always have a ton of amazing deals as well. So thank you so much to Vera Shop for sponsoring this portion of the video, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of organization. First things first, you know, we're always gonna do a quick little Starbucks run. I am in the Starbucks drive-through and I've got my two little helpers with Hello. me today. They're gonna go shopping with us and be my little helpers. Say hi guys. Hello. Okay, so it doesn't look like their inventory is what I remember, but they do have these containers, which I do like. These are the 1.6 quart, and I thought they would be perfect for like nuts and things like that. They only have two left in stock. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and get both of those. I also kind of like these containers for like brown sugar and flour and things like that. So yeah, they have these, they're airtight. I just don't know what size. I like how these are a little longer, but these are really nice and compact and you can stack them. These are also kind of kind of cool too. So they're all kind of the same, like the airtight mechanism. I also saw this set right here that has the three piece canister set, but they're all three different sizes. I would prefer to get just like three of the mediums and I don't see that they have those. So I ended up grabbing two of these. I thought they would be perfect for like flour and brown sugar and sugar and stuff like that just to have on hand. I didn't want to get too big because to be honest, I really don't bake a lot, but I always like to have those on hand. They only had two. I'd like to look for four. So we're gonna try to go to a couple of other places and see if we find. And then I did end up getting two of these for like nuts and stuff like that. I don't know what is going on with their inventory here, but they have like nothing. I will say I do like these jars. Um, they have a little bit of a seal on them. I wouldn't say they're, I mean, they're tight but they're definitely better than like these jars, which I do have a few of these for like popcorn and stuff. I haven't decided if I'm gonna continue to use these or not, but I have several of these at home. We just finished up inside Target and I met one of my subscribers. Her name was Maria. I actually just did a little story on Instagram. Obviously that is gonna be that was a couple of days ago or so by the time you guys watch this video. But if you if you missed that, it, it was seriously the cutest because I, I asked Matthew what he said. Because what did you say, Matthew? I said she was so nice. She was so nice. So, Maria, if you're watching this vlog, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. It was really great to meet you. And your daughter is so, so cute. Um, we are going to go hit up another store because the Target inventory was awful, you guys. We got it. We did a couple things. And I didn't look at any of the other home stuff. Yay, me. I'm so proud of myself. I'm trying to stick to organization. So, we're going to go hit up the container container store, so let's go. So these right here were on my wish list. The measurements are perfect. I think I'm gonna get, I don't know if I should go ahead and get four just to be on the safe side, but I know I'm at least gonna use two. Am I gonna just get four while I'm here and then see what we use? But it is a Lazy Susan. I'm gonna use them for like hot sauces and um, like cooking sprays and oils and things like that. They ended up having the same containers that I found at Target. So I'm gonna grab two of these because I wanted to get four of them. So I'm gonna grab two of those as well. And just a little tip, when you're doing any shopping for organization, always measure your space and bring a measuring tape with you. Okay, so we're deciding between this tea container for my tea bags or this one. Which one do you guys vote for? That one. This, this one? one? I think we're gonna go for this one. It looks just a little bit cleaner. Looky what we found. These are the oversized pieces that I wanna get for the cereal. Um, I think it'd be perfect for cereal, but also good for pretzels and even like popcorn, whenever you get like the bags of popcorn or even tortilla chips or something. So I'm gonna get at least four of these. My little helpers are helping me. We ended up getting six of the cereal dispensers. I'm puzzling it all in. So these are very similar to the bins that I was looking to get for like snacks and you know boxed meals and things like that. These are not the exact ones. These are just way too tall. But I don't know if I should go ahead and buy these or just hold off and not get the ones. They don't have the ones that I came here for in stock. I need your opinion. So I originally grabbed these right here which have the little pop lid for flour, sugar, brown sugar, things like that. But then I just found these, which are round and have a little clippy lid, just like that. So it's airtight as well. It's just round. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like these? They're all stackable. You like that one? Do y'all like the round? 
or do you like these? Let me know in the comments. We are all finished up and even though I didn't get everything I was hoping to get, it still was a very successful day. I am so excited to see how the pantry turns out. It's not finished yet. I'll actually go ahead and pop on some before and where it's kind of at. By the time this video goes up, it should be done and I do plan on doing at least a dedicated blog post on that. So if you're not subscribed to my blog, luxmommyblog.com, make sure to go do that. I share a lot of different things on the blog. Not only do I share outfits of the day and fashion, but I do a lot of lifestyle on there too. I'm trying to put more lifestyle on the blog, which honestly I have a lot of fun with, whether it's mom stuff, I have like some ideas to do with kids at home or even things to do here in Houston for free. I recently did a kitchen tour. So if you want to check that out, that's on the blog as well. Again, luxmommyblog.com. Like I said, I'm going to go and pop on some before pictures of the pantry. Keep in mind that I let the pantry go several months ago because I knew I was going to be doing this whole remodel and reorganization. So it really, did get out of control over the last oh uh, if I'm being honest probably even the last year or so at least six months it's been a disaster and that's one of the things that I love about organization is because it forces you to buy just the right amount and you just don't have too much I have a really bad habit of buying too much I stock up on things and sometimes that's a good thing but sometimes it's a bad thing so I'm hoping that getting this pantry how I've honestly wanted to do it for years will hopefully keep that under control but yes like I said I'm gonna pop on some before pictures if they're horrible I'll show you what they look like now and I'll also pop on a picture of my inspiration for the pantry and I can't wait to share it with you now we didn't do exactly like the inspo we kind of changed it up just a little bit not a lot to be honest I really like the inspo picture I found it on Pinterest too by the way and I decided that I want because I've got to the stained wood that dark element and the walls are the white I really want wanted the organizational items to be clear just so the pantry didn't feel and look too heavy. That may not make any sense at all, but I kind of just had a vision in mind, especially once you add in all of the boxes and bags with all the colors and stuff. I personally just felt like clear containers were the best. I do like the idea of adding some actual baskets for overflow. So if I'm going to have the cereal in the clear, like, you know, dispensers, having some actual baskets that are like a wicker to kind of hold the overages for pretzels and cereals and things like that I'm super excited I get so excited when it comes to organization and I really found a lot of good stuff I'm definitely gonna have to make another trip to get more I may not use everything it really just depends I won't know until the space is done until I start actually putting things where they belong make sure to check out the info box down below I will make sure to link all of my outfit details as well as everything that I shared with y'all at the beginning of this video from Vera shop I'll also link everything that that I ended up buying from both Target as well as the container store. And again, make sure to go by the blog, hit that subscribe, subscribe to the blog so you do not miss the pantry reveal. If you guys want a dedicated pantry video here on YouTube, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you again to my little helpers today. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Say goodbye. We're gonna head home and we will see y'all in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.